All right, so the focus today is on Arvind Kejriwal, who is in the Temple Town. You can see him on your screens. He has begun his roadshow in Varanasi. Let's just cut across and try to listen in to what he's saying. gathered there at Varanasi for Arvind Kejriwal's roadshow well scenes which are reminiscent of yesterday when Narendra Modi was in the temple town himself for a drive through the city we have Moshimi joining us live from Varanasi Moshimi it's clearly a huge show of strength for Arvind Kejriwal from the visuals that we see on our screens here that's right if you see this is the Lanka chalk from where Narendra Modi moved out to the BJP headquarters and if you see this stretch, it is quite empty here, uh, not much of uh, a crowd if you compare it to Narendra Modi's crowd. Therefore, you can see in the visuals, Arvind Kejriwal was addressing uh, the supporters from uh, on top of his vehicle and there his cavalcade is moving ahead and uh, the Ahmadi supporters have descended from uh, far away places. They are not only local Banaras supporters, but mostly from the outside who have been camping here for a few days. We have a supporter. Uh, you've come from Delhi. If you compare the crowd from Modi's roadshow yesterday, uh, it's quite less. It is so more. It is so much from Modi, and we are uh, we are uh, supported to uh, Arvind Kejriwal because see he is uh, against the uh, fight uh, the corruption as well as uh, uh, security of women. Yeah, but tell me, is crowd a bit less? Is support a bit less? Arvind Kejriwal, do you think? Almost, almost is not uh, not uh, less less than. Yes, sir. You are saying Modi. You are comparing it not with the because this is the. जो ये पार्टी है एक पार्टी इज द बेसिक ऑफ द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द न्यू लीवर सी वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट आम आदमी पार्टी इज अ फर्स्ट टाइम हियर एंड इफ यू कंपेयर विद द बीजेपी एंड द एस पी इट हैज मेड इन रोड्स ये वी सो आम आदमी सपोर्टर्स वॉक आउट ऑफ द बी एच यू वन दिस एंटायर प्लेस वॉज फ्लडेड विद द बीजेपी सपोर्टर्स दे व बूड but they went along we have with us uh, aam aadmi party's uh, road show is also quite colorful you can see we have with us uh, a devil dressed as corruption here trying to uh, convey a message that this is a fight against corruption aap kis tarah se taiyar ho kya hai kya hai aap main bharashari hu aur bansvadi hu 
मैं अंबानी जी और अडानी जी का एजेंट हूँ मैं भ्रष्टाचार करके देश के जब बर्बाद करना चाहता हूँ मुझे ये बीजेपी वालों ने लंका में भेजा था और ये of the public here uh, there is an lcd screen that is telling a story about the uh, corruption of uh, bjp and the congress parties aam aadmi party is good at uh, at uh, catching in public attention and that's what they have succeeded to do here moshmi also it seems that varanasi has become the political hotbed this election season yesterday we saw narendra modi today we seeing arvind kejriwal then tomorrow we'll see rahul gandhi campaigning for the varanasi candidate yeah that's right if you see uh, banaras has become a, a significant location all eyes are on banaras and uh, i must tell you that banaras is actually symbolic because uh, at stake are the 32 seats of the purvachal region which is very crucial for the bjp and if we talk about the regional parties uh, the, the bsp and the samajwadi party have a lot in stake because they were equal in the seat sharing as far as the sp the bsp and the congress is concerned they had around 10 seats each in purvachal so lot at stake for all the parties you have the star leaders descending in banaras it is a battle of wits a political battle electrifying battle and that is why uh, it is getting a lot of media kar attention uh, all eyes set on banaras and it will be rahul gandhi and akhilesh yadav uh, to show their strength tomorrow when they take out a road show also moshmi tell us more about arvind kejriwal's rural pitch we've seen him spend a lot of time in varanasi especially in the rural areas Yeah that's right if you talk about Arvind's campaign uh, as i told you our, our party is a first timer but i have taken a a, a a good pulse of the city and if you uh, the way i speak to the people and what they have to say it has left an imprint on the rural as well as the urban voters as a first timer uh, you can give it away to them that they have made an impression on the public's mind they are the first contender first competitor of the bjp the prime ministerial candidate narendra modi and uh, the congress and the sp and the bsp is left far behind because uh, what is crucial is there are above 3 lakh muslim voters in banaras and arvind kejriwal and the aam aadmi party have captured the imagination of the muslim voters who didn't have much alternative earlier uh, they have uh, been able to uh, make inroads into the muslim community and they have got they are following in the muslim community which will be crucial a deciding factor because if you see the earlier battles in the past whoever has won over the muslims has been a serious contender or a winner in the lok sabha elections and banaras being a crucial symbolic uh, city symbolic seat it would have repercussions in the entire purvachal moshmi just stay with me let me just tell our viewers that varanasi once again is the political hotbed this friday with arvind kejriwal holding his road show through the nerve center of the temple town well just 3 days left for the big battle in varanasi and arvind kejriwal has begun that road show which actually began from the rural parts of the constituency to woo the electorate of the ancient hindu holy city on your screen you can see hundreds of people have thronged to the area where this road show is being conducted also kejriwal earlier said that he's very confident of a big win and he said that narendra modi will lose despite the fact that the bjp is doing everything it can including playing the communal card as well as the caste card we still have moshmi with us moshmi when you compare this to the show of strength by narendra modi yesterday how would you really describe what you're seeing on the ground today to be fair if we talk about the modi road show which was unplanned so called unplanned eh, although the bjp supporters had full information that narendra modi will land at what time what will be his route and where will he proceed but this is the route that narendra modi followed right from the bhu campus straight up there uh, towards the ravidas chowk and this gate that you're saying this is the bhu gate the supporters were thronged 
they were all on the streets there wasn't any place to stand uh, slogans of narendra modi were rendered the air and uh, like if you see now uh, the, uh, the if you see the support base and the number of supporters if you compare it is uh, lesser than yesterday seen yesterday what is interesting is there are a lot of uh, supporters that have come from the outside from other places who have been camping here who have come in support of the aam aadmi party but uh, if you talk about the show of strength narendra modi uh, has beaten uh, uh, arvind kejriwal it is yet to be seen whether rahul gandhi or akhilesh yadav will be able to show uh, that amount of strength in their road show also moshmi as a fall out of this high profile battle for varanasi we are also hearing that the voter count in varanasi has risen to 17 lakh this time that's been an increase of a lakh and a half from the last elections that were held there yeah that is true and uh, you know the very, the crucial factor is the youth voters yes. there are above uh, 20% youth voters in this area and uh, the youth actually uh, heading the campaigns for every party here from the bjp to the aam aadmi party to even the congress party the youth icon congress party's youth icon is coming to banaras finally and we have seen the youths participate in the politics of uh, of the Uh, of this time bhu is not far away and yesterday we spotted many uh, bjp caps um, in the campus and today we can see aam aadmi party caps donned by students who have been actively playing uh, a supporters role here in the banaras campaigning and we have with us a youth supporter we will speak to him who is more popular you are of course an aam aadmi party I'm, supporter no, i am not aam aadmi party supporter i am a student like you are generalist you say i am not supporting anybody else i am i am just like you i am i am a student we are not supporting anybody else right, so you are here what have you come here for did you see the road show yeah, what do you yeah, think we are here for seeing watch if you talk to people they all said for we are from gujarat we are from visakhapatnam we are from here we are from there nobody is from bhu in bhu only modi is here nobody is ma'am if there is modi is more popular yeah, than rahul gandhi or uh, yeah, uh, arvind kejriwal oh, def definitely ma'am modi is more popular than both of them you and from the abvp or you are just yeah, i am a just student of banaras hindu university i am not from any i am not any from any other political party no ma'am i am just politician what do you think you are also a youth aap kya sochte hain kaun zyada popular hai hey aam aadmi party aam aadmi party jo hai ek garibon ki party hai yaj yaj jo है फांसीवाद का विरोध करती है पूंजीवाद का विरोध करती है या बिल्कुल रूप से आम कहाँ से आए जी मैं यही पढ़ता हूँ लास्ट से क्लास कौन से ईयर में पढ़ते एम ए लास्ट सेमेस्टर है मेरा इस बार आप बनारस के ही रहने वाले हो जी मैं बनारस की नहीं मैं गाजीपुर का रहने वाला हूँ यहाँ एच यू में पढ़ते जी तो आपको लगता है आम आदमी पार्टी की भी छा, छा, छाप छूटी है लोगों की बिल्कुल छूटी है एकदम बिल्कुल साफ आपको जा ही दिखाई दे रही है मैं बिल्कुल साफ एकदम बिल्कुल सो यू हैव आई एज आई टोल्ड यू देर हैज बीन एन इनरोड बाय द आम आदमी पार्टी इन टू द ट्रेडिशनल वोट बैंक ऑफ द समाजवादी पार्टी द बी एस पी और द कांग्रेस और द बीजेपी इट मेकिंग न्यू सपोर्टर्स न्यू इन रोड एंड एज वी सी दैट वी हैव सपोर्टर्स एंड एवरी टाइम वी स्टार्ट अ डिस्कशन ऑन द पॉपुलरिटी चार्ज वी आर बाउंड टू हैव अ बैटल लिया absolutely moshmi also tell us more about how arvind kejriwal's strategy differs from that of the bjp in varanasi moshmi can you hear me or right, we seem to have lost the line with moshmi there but we will try and reconnect with her again i was asking about the difference in strategy because what we do know from the way we have been covering arvind kejriwal's campaign in varanasi ever since he's been there for the last 20 or days is that there has been a huge thrust towards door to door campaign by the aam aadmi party but those visuals on your screens are of that huge support base for arvind kejriwal in the temple town well there are thousands of people who throng to the temple town be it the star power of the aam aadmi party javed jafri or the others who are a part of the aam aadmi party system or be it arvind kejriwal himself all of them thronging the streets of varanasi following the road show that is being spearheaded by arvind kejriwal well earlier in the day arvind kejriwal even spoke with headlines today and he questioned the helicopter politics once again of narendra modi and he even said with utmost confidence that modi would lose the battle for the holy town 
visuals on your screens there of Arvind Kejriwal with his huge support base but like our correspondent was telling us he doesn't seem to be as effective and impactful as that of Narendra Modi who was in Varanasi yesterday driving through the town as his BJP cadre put it well they had not planned that roadshow is what they had said Hello. Arvind Kejriwal is now confident of a big win he says that Narendra Modi will lose despite the fact that the BJP is doing everything it can including playing the communal card as well as caste politics as far as violence and bribing the media is concerned well those are two accusations also leveled by Arvind Kejriwal against Narendra Modi Ankit Yagi now joining us on the phone line. Ankit, I believe that you are following that road show spearheaded by Arvind Kejwal. Just take us through what's happening on the ground. Well, the road show has just begun uh, from the Malviya uh, Chowk, uh, just outside uh, the BHU. And Arvind Kejriwal, along with his supporters, has started uh, from here. It's a six-kilometer road show that they are doing. All their stars are here, and a good number of uh, people uh, have come out to support them. They are. This is remember. This is a, a second last day as far as the campaigning is concerned. We will uh, very soon. Uh, Vedika will al also be sending the exclusive shots that our drone has taken uh, for an overview of how this rally looks like and how many people have been here. But yes, um, Arvind Kejriwal now uh, trying to uh, trying to sh show his strength. Yesterday it was Narendra Modi's turn, and basically, if you go on the streets of Banaras, the fight now uh, it seems is only between Narendra Modi and Arvind Kejriwal. The, uh, the Amadni Party so far has been successful in uh, at least uh, uh, at, uh, at least having a formidable campaign. Whether it is good enough uh, to defeat Narendra Modi or not, that's something that we only know on 16th. Uh, of this month, but yes, uh, uh, a good support for Arvind Kejriwal, and uh, the road show has begun. It will be a six-kilometer stretch, as I said, uh, from where Arvind Kejriwal would be going to. Ankit, you've been following and tracking every move of Arvind Kejriwal. Tell us more about the pitch. It's more of a rural pitch that Arvind Kejriwal has been concentrating on for the last 20 days in the temple town. And just tell us, I mean, just contrast that with Modi's urban pitch in Varanasi. What do you see, and how do you perceive the situation? Well, uh, but as I said, it's a formidable campaign that they have been able to put uh, front of the BJP. That is why, I, according to the Amandli Party, the entire top brass of the BJP had to come here and campaign for Narendra Modi. They have been coming, going uh, uh, all these tactics just to make sure that they do not lose out. Uh, and there is no surprise as far as this entire thing is concerned. Uh, one thing, the sharp difference between the campaigning style of both the parties has been that uh, uh, Amadni Party is still believing in the door-to-door -door campaign, trying to go uh, to every door, knock on every door, uh, whereas uh, BJP's campaign has been very high-tech. They are just uh, hoping, believing that uh, the Modi name will get them through. As far as Amadni Party is concerned, especially in the rural areas, they have been able to uh, make uh, some sort of a tent. But whether that is enough uh, to make Arvind Kejriwal home, uh, that we'll have to wait and see. All right, Ankit, do stay with me on the phone line. I believe Moshmi once again is through with us from Varanasi. Moshmi, we are also being told that Arvind Kejriwal's family will have to leave the temple town before polling day. See, uh, if you look at Amethi previously, uh, when Amethi, Amethi went to polls, there was a big political row when Kumar Biswas's family was asked to leave midnight and uh, and there was a tussle between the administration and Kumar Biswas who said that the uh, that the administration was being partial by only targeting Aam Aadmi supporters but as as the guideline says as the rule goes that if the administration feels that there is hindrance to free and fair elections they can ask outsiders to leave now uh, usually the immediate family is not asked to leave because uh, that's the immediate family of the ca candidate and only the outsiders who have come for uh, in support of Arvind Kejriwal are asked to leave or the BJP or the Congress. Uh, we'll still have to see that how this boils down to because last time in Amethi it was a big political row and definitely the issue uh, will escalate.